the year. And at number five, it's Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart, the stars of the movie franchise Twilight. Twilight? Sorry, I'm struggling to remember what films you're talking about. I've been in so many films, they all become a bit of a blur. Vampires, you say? Dunno. Can't remember. Tonight, case juice spills on Twilight. Miss Stewart, how much did you enjoy working with hunky Robert Pattinson? Oh, God, I hate interviews. So unfair that I, like, contractually have to do them in order to get paid millions. God, I hate you! Ugh! The world was spellbound by the Twilight Twosome's unbelievable sexual chemistry. This red-hot romance on-screen caused millions of people to speculate they were at it off-screen as well. Taylor Lautner, were your co-stars at it off-screen as well? I've done a werewolf. Thank you, Taylor Lautner. Oh. But the fiercely private vampire thespians refused to ever confirm their relationship status, despite very clearly having it off. Miss Stewart, you refuse to confirm your relationship status, but it's very clear you're having it off. Ah! Stop picking on me! You're asking me questions all the time! You don't get to tell me who I can have in my room! <gasps> I mean, seriously, IMDb me. I have got 15 acting credits, of which, what, five happen to be vampire-related? And that's what, like, I don't know, one in three films happen to involve undead romance. I mean, like, whatever. Move on, yeah? I was in a film with an elephant and Reese fucking Witherspoon. Ask me about that, you pricks. The rumoured romance helps Twilight to monster success. Well, that and its groundbreaking originality in every successive sequel. Edward, I can't love you because you are a vampire. <sighs> Or can I? Twilight New Moon. Bella, I can't make you into a vampire. Or can I? Twilight Eclipse. Edward, I can't have a vampire wedding. Or can I? Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Huh? Bella, I can't have a vampire baby. Or can I? Twilight Breaking Dawn, Part 2. I've done the werewolf! But then Kristen went away to film Snow White and began a very public affair with its very married 42-year-old director, Rupert Sanders. Wow, he's old. Snow White and Huntsman, Scene 32, Take 4. Action! Cue Kirsten! Cue Backdrop! The evil queen is like such a total bitch for giving me this apple. Cut. My god, your performance is electrifying. I simply must have you. Mm. Mm. What's that smell? It's my armpit. I must have you. Mm. Mm. The affair was short lived, but the damage was done. The tryst of the Twilight Twosome was in tatters and someone was left feeling just a little bit bitter. I don't really want to discuss that time in my life. I mean, I've moved on from it all now. And I've grown as a person and an actor. But the people I really feel sorry for are the Potter kids. I mean, the fucking ginger one can do as many Judy Waters films as he wants. But you're wrong, bloody Weasley, darling. End of. But ask the person in the street, who is Robert Pattinson? Uh, he's that guy that did that sweet David Cronenberg film. Am I right? I mean, no one talks about vampires. Not now, not ever, never. No one. Has someone put blood in my goblet?